All right, so I have had a great weekend and I just wanted to share with you all about it. So I went to um, Scotty Cool's concert, their new release um, album concert, and I loved it. It was amazing. Um, I also got some merch from The Shitty It's, that's one of my favorite bands. Um, and then also, I really enjoyed um, Stronghold. They were a great band. Last night was great. The sound was awesome. I really loved this, this show. There was just so many aspects to it that just made it an awesome experience. And I wanted to tell you a little more about it. Um, so there were um, two autographed bars of Irish Spring at the Shitty It's um, merch table. And so I have autographed so I thought that was cool um they were both for, there were two for one dollar donation or one dollar um or best offer whatever so I thought since it was really unique and individual and something that this was so funny and it was the last one left I was like I have to get that and then look at this merch I did isn't that awesome? So I'll show, show you a little bit more of this whoopee cushion later. That was awesome. <laughs> and shout out to Scabby Ghouls. Last night was amazing. I also got a koozie from the shitty it's. Thank you everyone for just making that show an amazing experience. Last night was awesome. Thank you. So I'm also going to tell you a little bit more about my weekend. I went on um, garage sailing and I found a creative through this garage sailing. Um, so this individual, um, they create um, different art, different crafts, and they are a part of some different craft fairs. So I will tell you a little bit later about how you can connect with some of these creatives. I just threw this all over my Facebook page that I was just at this morning. I was just at um, the farmer's market, went, did a little walk through and everything. Koki got so many treats. Um, Koki is my dog. Um, he's a nine-year-old senior dog and he is awesome. He is with me everywhere and he is just a huge part of my life. So being a huge part of my life, I am also conscientious about what he's eating and stuff. So Dogger, I recommend them. Um, and the owner is Amanda. I actually met Amanda today. It was a great conversation, great experience. Pokey got four yogurt treats, was which was awesome. So shout out Dogger. Um, and they're out of Bellevue. So connect with Amanda at the farmer's market and um, look for some different um, ways to connect with our local creatives. Another one I shared a little bit ago, um, Cuppy is the owner of this business, Vertex. They make dog cookies. I just shared a picture of um, some different cookies that were available at the farmer's market a little bit ago. Um, one says that um, my mom is a babe. I thought that was awesome. And then some rainbow cookies and some poop emoji cookies. So that was awesome. And then another one. So Orange Creek Farms. I actually just purchased some, um, I purchased some brats from them. So you know what that means. Um, <laughs> we're going to wet my wiener with your favorite sauce. And we are going to do that later on i will cook those up for you i also um, got some goat heart to try i know that's not everybody's thing but it is a healthy protein um for me especially i've never had it so i'm gonna go um cook it and try it out and see if i like it or not i got a small one just in case <laughs> because i am honestly quite nervous to try this but i do really like goat and sheep products um lamb products so i will let you guys know what I think of that one and then um another one, creative Jody's Natural Kitchen it's not really focusing um but Jody is awesome this is probably my second year that I've seen 
her at the farmer's market. Um, she's doing two different markets this, or a few different markets this year. Um, a Sioux City Wine, I believe. Nope, uh, Glenwood. She will be in Glenwood, um, and then another creative is doing the Sioux City. Uh, so she is in Glenwood. She is in Bellevue on um, Farmer's Market, which starts in June. And then she is also um, on Sundays at Exarbin Farmer's Market. So you can catch that creative. And she has an entire um, uh, collection of products and um, different home-baked goods and just awesome things, some keto options. I really highly enjoy her keto cheddar biscuits. It tastes a lot like the um, Red Lobster cheddar biscuits, but even better because it's just that homemade flavor. It's awesome. And it's keto. That's awesome. So I really like that one. Um, and not always, um, keto doesn't always do well with my body. For me personally, her cheddar biscuits did pretty well. Um, so I will definitely be frequenting her booth this summer because she's one of my favorite bakers and I just love the goods that she has to offer. So go check out that creative out at Exarbin Farmer's Market, Bellevue, and then also Glenwood's Farmer's Market. I also connected today with Omaha Bage Bagel Company. They are a company who started out of their own house. So I will be connecting with them later I really enjoyed um, just kind of their startup story a little bit and they were just, they had an awesome vibe to them. They had an awesome energy. They were very friendly um, and I just love the fact that they are doing this out of, out of their home. That is awesome. That is creative. If you create something, this is the advertisement for you. <laughs> All right, so, um, and then... Ooh, so um, Sean Mohan is the owner of uh, Jackson Josie's Smoked Jerky Dog Treats. This was beef. Koki doesn't always care for beef flavors, but today he actually enjoyed like two or three pieces of their jerky. Um, and it is, uh, the ingredients are simple. It was cinnamon, turmeric. Um, I think I'm missing an ingredient, but it was all simple ingredients. I could pronounce all of them. They're all common kitchen items. So I highly recommend uh, Jackson Josie's Smoked Jerky Dog Treats. Um, and Sean oh, Monahan is the owner. So I will be connecting with them soon. And I will bring you some more information on them because that was just a great overall experience. And they're in a couple different farmers markets as well so you can catch them in some different areas around town and find um you know where it's most convenient for you to shop shop local um our next one is shadow brook farm so i tried some goat cheese on um, that was rosemary uh peppercorn and chai that was awesome. If you have known me for a while on my page, you know that I love goat products. Um, if you are new to my page, just know that I love goat products and I will be bringing some more to you. So you can expect that. And then um, I've seen them at the farmer's market a few times before and I know that they are connected with a few different local businesses. Um, check out Maisie Company. Um, they do different um, homemade dog collars and um, just different products. And so they're awesome. Um, I would love to connect with them, especially for some of their products because, like, we could class Koki up a little bit, dress him up in some different cool designed collars. So that was awesome. Um, and then two paws for you um this one was an awesome experience because i was i was able to um they gifted koki a chicken jerky treat so that was awesome and he really enjoyed all of that and so 
I will be connecting more with them soon and you guys can connect with all of these creatives as well. I highly recommend them and I just I really think they have a lot to offer our community. Actually, I know they have a lot to offer our community, so I highly recommend them. And then, and then another spot that I am recommending is Coffee Society. This is a coffee shop out of Papillion. Shop local. Support your local creatives, attend events, attend shows, and buy merch, buy products, support your local creatives. I will see you later. Go check out your farmer's markets. They are offering us some amazing things. Thanks for watching Wet My Wiener with your favorite sauce. I'll see you later.